Well guys, this is what it's all about. Here in Fiordland, in the rain, in the forest. And Sam, there's been heaps of work being done in Tamatea to restore the place. And a lot of that's to do with getting rid of predators. And you've got a couple of traps here to trap those nasty little critters that eat our birds. We'll start with this one, the Dock 200. How does it work? Absolutely, so the Dock 200 is a single action, what we call single action, it can kill one animal at a time. Uh, spring trap. And essentially the animal runs across the trap to get it an egg or a piece of meat and stands on the treadle and as soon as it stands on the treadle it springs off the trap and smack big kill bars come down instantaneous death they turn into something that resembles a hash brown and uh, job done that's one less predator killing birds yeah. So it's really quick what kind of bait do you use to attract the animal? It depends what you're trying to trap so for stoats, we usually use either fresh meat or dehydrated meat coupled with an egg because that's kind of what stoats live off. They live off birds' eggs and they live off meat. Um, if we're trying to catch rats in particular, we'll use something like peanut butter or white chocolate buttons. They're just like, they're just like little kids. They, they love the same thing. So yeah, peanut butter, white chocolate buttons are my favorite for rats. And that's, that's the type of lures we use in the Dock 200. And it's just one type of trap. You've got a very, fancy looking trap there that's more recent. How does that one work? <laughs> yeah, so this one's a self-resetting trap. So it's CO2 powered. We've got these little gas canisters here. And so they screw up inside the trap. And as the animal comes up uh, looking for a lure, and we put our lures in here, I'll talk about the lures we use in a second. Um, they come up inside the trap to get to the lure. And inside there's, there's a piston. So they trigger off the trap they spring off the piston and the piston shoots out and crushes their skull. So it's an instantaneous kill. The animal falls out the bottom onto the ground. Uh, they're dead and the trap, because it's got a spring inside of it, it pulls the piston back and it resets itself. And so the cool thing about that is you can kill 24 animals before you have to reset it. And you know we're in the middle of Fjordland in this torrential rain. For us, we want to spend as little time out here trapping as possible. So with these traps, we should be coming out here once a month to check these guys because the lures only last about one month. Right. With these guys, you only have to check them every four months. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. So it's only three checks a year instead of 12 checks a year, which is pretty massive when you're in the back of fjord. Yeah. But the lures we use inside this guy are these lures here. So inside here, you've got two chambers. The top chamber creates gas, so it's, it's, like a, it's like a gas pump. It inflates over a four month period. And as it inflates, it's pushing out fresh lure and it's got constantly delicious, tasty lure being pushed out. So it's, it's always effective, which is kind of cool. It's, that saves us a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, And we use things for rats. We're using chocolate again and hazelnut and, and coconut oil. And for stoats, we use a meat paste as well. Yeah. And it's really cool because part of this trip, uh, some of you actually entered a competition to join us on the trip. And Good Nature has donated a trap for everybody that entered the competition. So we're now starting a trap line on this island. And it's going to be called the Learns Trap Line. It's going to be really cool to see how much the bird life improves around the traps as a result of having less predators. And how do you know how the traps are going? Is there any way of monitoring? Yeah, absolutely. So um, there's, a, there's a few different ways we monitor. Uh, we use tracking tunnels, which gives essentially they're, they're cards with an ink pad in the middle. And um, we put a bit of lure in the middle of those and we see what animals run across them. And that gives us an idea of, of how many rats are in the system, how many stoats are in the system. We also set up cameras, which is pretty neat. Uh, and that gives us an idea of what critters are in the in that particular area. But we also have outcomes monitoring. So it doesn't really matter how many stoats or rats you kill, it only matters how many is left. But it also, the only thing that really matters is how your birds are doing. And so we use acoustic monitors. When we started the project here, put acoustic monitors up. Um, and you know, the bird life wasn't doing that flash. It was pretty quiet. And now we come back two years later, 
put the acoustic monitors out on the hill. And the bird life's just crazy. There's birds everywhere. You know, we're hearing kaka and kakariki and kiwi and, and all of those beautiful birds we like to see. So, uh, mm, so really rewarding. And that certainly will keep you going with having to check all these traps and maintain them because it is hard work. So, hey, keep it up, Sam the Trap Man. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate you guys coming out here, putting some traps on the hill, people at home supporting it, because, uh, you know, the more stoats we can kill with those traps that have been donated, the better the birds will do. Absolutely nice. We can all help. Cheers, Sam.